Hello everyone, it's Sandra, and welcome to today's video. Welcome to my beautiful dungeon here. I'm recording in my living room today. I wanted a change of scenery, and today's video is going to be a fashion video. A little summer to fall transitional capsule wardrobe because um, it's still quite warm here. It's not like, it's not time to bust out my coats yet. Without further ado, I will start with, um, with the tops that I have selected. The first being this hot pink cardigan that I am wearing today. One of my favorite items of clothing in my wardrobe. This is a cashmere cardigan by the brand Kate. The most luxurious, cozy, chic cardigan one can ask for. It's got these really long sleeves. They're very billowy and wide. Not very practical, but you can always fold them back. You know, it's, it's not a big deal. They do stay folded if you do fold them. And I love the silhouette. It's slightly tapered at the waist. I love the buttons. I like the color. They do have some really good neutrals. And obviously, if money was no object, I would have this cardigan in multiple colors. But um, I wanted a, a different color. I think that it just makes a bit more of a statement. And honestly, this just makes the outfit no matter what I pair it with. I can just be wearing jeans and a t-shirt. I throw this on, this instantly elevates the outfit. So I love it and it's also really, really cozy. It's, it's, very, it's very warm and uh, you know, I can always open it if I need some, some airflow, some ventilation because you know, in, in, this, in between summer and fall, it can be kind of chilly in the morning. You want something on your back, but it's nice to be able to just unbutton it, take it off, take it off and on throughout the day as needed. So. This is item number one that I'll be featuring. Item number two is a very simple, plain white tank top. I have a uh, racerback style. Ribbed white tank tops are very trendy right now according to the fashion blogs and the fashion websites. I mean, arguably a white tank top has never been out of style. Great for this in-between weather. A tank top, a cardigan, you know, you can take off the cardigan if you need it, it's, it's easy. To, to just have some practical layers. The next thing is a blazer. Obviously, had to throw in a blazer. I chose this navy blue blazer. I actually did a video showing you all the blazers that I own. I have a little wardrobe tour video trying on all my blazer. So if you want to see more details, check it out. This blazer is uh, it's quite old. It's by Isabelle Morant Etoile. Next top item is a sweater. I chose, again, this thin knit sweater. This is by Rag & Bone. I actually bought this uh, at The Real Real and I paid about $25 for it. It's in wonderful condition. I really liked the color. I'm trying to experiment more with color this year and I've, I've been having a lot of fun kind of refining my wardrobe and, and just uh, injecting some, some different tones in there. So this is like a khaki colored sweater. It's a uh, wool blend but it's still really, really thin, really lightweight. Great to layer. And then the other thing, the other top is just a plain oversized, like boxy white t-shirt. Something with a little bit of a print on it as opposed to something plain white because I have the tank top that serves that plain white purpose. Then for the bottom, I selected three bottoms just uh, to cover all the bases. I have a skirt, a pair of trousers, and a pair of jeans. For jeans, I have these dark wash barrel leg jeans by the brand Citizens of Humanity. This is one of my favorite jean styles. I'm a big, big fan of the barrel leg jean. I just really like the shape that it creates. It's really interesting. I love Citizens of Humanity jeans in general. I find that all my Citizens of Humanity jeans have held up really well over time and uh, they tend to run true to size. So that is my pair of jeans. For trousers, I have these um, long, high-waisted trousers by Cezanne in this really, really pretty, fresh racing green color. I'm still not over this green color. I think it's so, so pretty. It's just a nice way to inject a little bit of color in, uh, in my wardrobe and uh, these pants are quite long. I, um, they do kind of pool to the ground, but I personally really like that look. It's a look. You can definitely get them tailored, get them hemmed if needed. And item number eight is a skirt. This is a brownish burgundy pleated midi skirt. It's, um, has a really nice weight to it. It's not 
super super thin but it's also not super thick so it's great to kind of wear year round i can always you know add tights or leggings when it's colder out but for now perfectly fine without anything underneath i just really love this color and uh, this skirt is by tibby so big fan elasticated waistband sits nicely at the natural waist and uh, yeah so those are the eight items now let's get into the outfits Starting out strong with one of my favorite outfits, pleated skirt with the slim white tank top, the blazer on top. I just wanted some visual interest, so I tied the sweater around my waist. Obviously, this can also be practical. I can put it on my shoulders for a little bit of extra warmth, or I can even put it on if I need to. And then on my feet, I put my chunky Prada loafers. Absolutely love them, one of my favorite shoes that I own and then lighten things up a bit with my white Little Lifner bag. Keeping the same white tank top and pleated skirt combination for outfit number two, I wanted this to be a bit more casual, a bit more playful, so I paired it with my hot pink Kate cardigan and really leaning into that pink with a pair of matching pink sandals. These are by Hermes. They are the Chipra sandal, I believe, and they are super comfortable. I really like them. They do run small, so I would recommend sizing up about half a size, and I love them. Kept the white bag. Outfit number three is a great work outfit combination, again with the pleated skirt, thin sweater, and a blazer on top. I kept the same white bag, and I like the way that the white brightens up the rest of the outfit. The shoes are pointed white flats. They are by Miu Miu. They are very, very old. There are a lot of cute alternatives on the market that I will link below. And a pointed flat will never steer you wrong. Such a good classic to have in your wardrobe. Outfit number four shares a lot of similar elements from outfit number three, except the bottoms are changed. I am wearing the green Cezanne trousers, kept the same white bag, but I'm styling it as a clutch. I just really love it and it's very, very comfortable, but I still look and feel really put together at the same time. Outfit number five features the trouser and blazer combination, but mixed with the white tank top instead. And I decided to just throw the sweater over the shoulders. I love doing this. I just think it looks really cool and adds, again, just adds a bit of visual interest. And it also keeps your back warm just in case the same white bag and shoe combination as before. Outfit number six is a slightly more casual interpretation of outfit number five. I just switched the top. Instead of the white tank top, we have the graphic t-shirt that is a little bit more boxy, so it adds a bit more of a casual element because it's more slouchy. And for the shoes, I swapped out the white flats for the black Prada loafers, and I really like this outfit as well. Obviously, I like the outfit. Otherwise, I wouldn't be featuring it in this video. Outfit number seven is another casual option, this time featuring the Citizens of Humanity jeans, graphic white t-shirt, the cardigan just worn open, and then again doing the matching hot pink cardigan sandal combination. And for the bag, I'm just wearing a little shoulder bag that's navy blue. Thought it would be a nice touch. And this is a great weekend outfit. Super comfortable, but again, a little bit polished, a little bit more put together. Outfit number eight is another jeans and t-shirt combination, but with the blazer and the sandals. I don't know, I kind of like it. It's a, it's a confused outfit for sure. It's like party on the bottom, business on the top, but I still somehow really like it. White little Lifner bag. I'm just not ready to let this bag go yet. I know white bags are very summery, but I kind of really like this for fall too. Outfit number nine is another one of my top, top, top favorites of the bunch. This is just a very me outfit. It's one of my go-to tried and true outfit combinations. Jeans, a t-shirt, blazer, sweater wrapped around my neck, loafers. I decided to wear my loafers with some socks to keep the line between the shoes and the jeans a bit more streamlined. Navy blue shoulder bag and I'm good to go. And finally, outfit number 10, ending out the video with another great weekend outfit, the tank top, jeans, 
hot pink cardigan worn slightly off the shoulder this is another one of my favorite ways to wear this cardigan it's just a nice casual styling white flats white bag perfect end of the summer outfit in my opinion and that's it eight items of clothing ten different outfits for this uh, in-between summer and fall weather that uh, that we've been having here. I hope you found this helpful. I hope this gave you some inspiration to maybe remix, restyle some items that you already have in your wardrobe. As always, my purpose and my intention with these videos is always to encourage you to wear what you already have whether it's inspiring you to style something you already have in a different way or maybe try out a different color combination um, i want you to make the most out of what you already have whether it's makeup or clothing that's that's my number one intention so thanks for hanging out with me today i hope you're having a beautiful beautiful day and i will see you in my next video bye